Hi, my name is Rafael Domenech and, and I am an MDC alum. And behind me, as you can see, is Estuary Pavilion for Moad. So I hope you have the chance to walk around, hang inside, or just take shade in one of the rooms. The project was initially designed in mind the, the moving of the piece as the pavilion thinks of publications and when we naturally think about books or publications we understand that they will travel across space right from a bookstore to a house or from one country to the other uh, so they tend to have that as part of the formatting what's called so in this case the pavilion was designed and formatted with the idea that will iterate across multiple campuses one of my passions and interests is concrete or visual poetry or experimental language so what that does is like it alters and modifies the existing language that is already coming from another location. And sort of when we do the second iteration, you play around with what it means, what words means, and can we think about text as architecture, not just as meaning, as uh, patterns or ornamentation. I don't think in a way about works of art in a traditional manner where you have a beginning, process, and end. I, I tend to think about more can all be processed and always be in a flux of states. What you present is not necessarily a finished condition, but actually just temporary conclusion of a moment in exchange. It has the capacity to evolve or mutate or to become something else, either integral as its own and another location, or then comes down and becomes part of other projects along the way. I think that that, what it does, it opens up opportunities for works of art or materials to have a, an, an elongated life itself. I often think about forms of efficiency, and one of those is to understand how to reinsert materials in different contexts. Uh, so I think it's important on one end understand the environmental impact of a work of art and an artistic practice and I think artists are starting to be aware of that more and more but also it's, it's more about solving problems it's a how do you make sure that you have a kind of answer with all these variables and these components and, and that's the fun part trying to figure it out in the process so the workshop for me has become more than an activity and material in a sense that it activates a piece it's not so much about educational but it's more about the experience of being together making something right when when you get together in a site with the purpose of constructing something from scratch and new you actually forget your differences with other people and you start to sort of communicate in the sense of achieving this task 